Hi, everybody. This is Mary for Stampin' Camp with Mary. Mary Stamping Happenings. I've had a long day. That's all I'm going to say. Um, it's Thanksgiving break here, and that's one of the busiest times here. So we were out doing parking mm -hmm. patrol at one of the trailheads. And I do have to say that there was a lot of people, but the fact also was, is that we were only supposed to do it until 1230 and we didn't really get off until 330, almost four o'clock. So uh, it's like, ah, um, anyhow, let me see if we are up. Oh, we are up. Good. Okay. So um, today, first of all, I want to tell you, uh, thank everybody who did um, purchase from me during the, um, how, what was it called? Uh, the, not the last chance, because that's coming up, but the, uh, the sale we just had, the uh, flash sale we just had. And uh, I am 45 cents short on my $300 goal for this month. So I um, probably will have to, if somebody wants to buy something from me, please do so. Um, or I'm going to have to make a order myself again. I've already made one order. Um, if you're on, just comment down below so I can see who's here. Um, if not, um, well, we're going on with it. A um, couple of things. Remember, the best thing right now is to um, join for $75, you can join my team. And that means that you get $125 in your starter kit for $75. So that's what, 50, $50 of um, $50 for your start or for your, um, <sighs> $50 extra. Oh, hey, Karen. $50 extra in your, or well, not extra, but you're paying $75 and getting $125. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can join at the link I just put in. Um, also, let's see. Hi, Nilu. Um, there is a um, the last chance sale is coming up. I will be posting the listings in the Happening Stampers, Mary Stepping Happenings group here, um, hopefully tomorrow sometime. I still have to work tomorrow, but uh, hopefully tomorrow sometime in the afternoon if we don't have to work all day again. So I am also... Oh, we're in the middle of the 12 cards of Christmas. If you are one of my team members or one of my customers from this last year, the 12 cards of Christmas is going on. I think we're on day eight here. Oh, that's, yeah, I have to get a couple more up uh, today. So that's about it. Oh, today I want to, um, we're going to do something different today. Now, you guys have seen the Stepping Up Artesian Design person who um, made what I think is the best uh, acrylic pour, faux acrylic pour um, background. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going, I'm going to show you how to do that faux acrylic background. This is the card we are making. Let me get this. Okay, see that? That is the card we, well, it's going to be similar to that. I took out that smell of mambo. I took that out and we're using polished pink. So, um, but um, we're going to be doing this one, even though I still have melon, melon mambo as the tag. Okay, who cares? Ha! I don't, I'm tired right now. <laughs> So um, I'm going to move you over. We are only going to do one card because it's going to take a long time to do the whole um, technique. And I want you guys to get it. I have some of the technique already done. Um, and I'm not going to bore you with trying to 
um, dry that technique with the heat tool, but um, I think that, yeah. But um, I'll show you how to do the techniques. So we're going to <clears throat> move you over. How is everybody doing today? Anyhow, are you all ready for Thanksgiving? You can see my voice was going today uh, because of the uh, talking. Oops, I didn't want to stop that. Okay, so I'm moving you over. Okay, all right. So to do this technique, and I'll, I'll just do the technique, you're gonna need some water. Now you're gonna need, some, and you guys are gonna think these are funny, but I have, you, as you know, I don't have a lot of stuff in the tray, in the RV. So um, I am using, um, this comes from uh, a jar of um, peas, peanuts or something. This comes from my, my Gatorade. And this comes from one of my um, prescriptions. And then you're going to need something that it goes in there. So this is the thing that I've been using to do some of the other ones. And you're going to need watercolor paper. And this, I've got three and a half by five inches um, because that's what I do. I, that, that's it. I, I'm going to be using a brand new stamp set that you can get. You can get the Blessings of Home. It's in the January to June catalog. So it's coming up. You can start, unless you are a demonstrator, demonstrators can start ordering this um, in December, but everybody else will order this in January. And so this is what I am looking at, looking at right now, okay? So we're going to do the technique. And what you're going to need is you're going to need re-inkers. And I am using um, Daffodil Delight. I'm using Mango Melody. I'd probably use Pumpkin Pie instead of Mango Melody, but I'm still using that. Flirty Flamingo and Polished Pink. Okay. So what I am going to do in one of these, I am going to take about a tablespoon. Doesn't have to be a full tablespoon. And again, just like any time you color with watercolors, you do watercoloring, the more water you have, the lighter the coloring. So I'm going to do this and I am just going to put One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little drops. And I'm not going to stir it up. At first, I stirred it up so it was all the same color. And I got, it was okay, but it wasn't what I was looking for. So I'm not going to stir it up, but I'm going to let it sit for a second and maybe just go like this for a little bit. Just... And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop some on the watercolor paper. And then I'm just going to let it soak up, okay? Not long, whatever you want to do. And then what you're going to do, once you get it that way, you're going to take your heat gun and you're going to dry this, okay? Well, I'm not going to bother you with the heat gun, okay? I already have another one of these done and we'll do the second one after this one, okay? So I'm going to put this aside for it to dry itself. And I'm gonna dump this out, give me a second. Okay. So now I am going to put some water in this one. And I'm going to put some Mango Melody.
And then I'm going to take the one that is dried that only has the daffodil delight on it. Okay. And I am going to pour that. Now you can pour it over the daffodil delight or wherever you want, but you're just going to do that. And again, you're going to let it set to, you know, to get in there for a little bit. Oh, cramping up in my hands. And then again, you're just going to take it off. And then you would do the heat gun on this. Okay. And let me throw this out. You really don't have to throw it out. But now again, I am going to take our See, this one is the mango. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this. My um, heat gun must be uh, going on a fritz because it puts out some uh, different, um, almost like uh, ash. So, okay, I'm doing this. And now I'm doing flirty flamingo. And again, one, two, three. Four. And I'm putting the flirty, and again, I am just going to pour the flirty flamingo out. Okay. And then I'm going to, with my heat gun after, I'm going to dry this one, okay? Now I have one more to do. And again, this is fairly easy. So this one has the Daffodil Delight, um, Mango Melody, and Flirty Flamingo on it. Okay, and then again, I'm going to take a little bit of water and I'm going to put the polished pink in here. Now I did, the first one I did, I did um, Melon Mambo, but I thought it just, I didn't like how dark that was. So now again, I am going to dump the polished pink on there. And dump that off. And then I'm going to dry that one. And let me clean this up. Now through the magic, I've got the one done. It's all dry. It has um, Daffodil Delight, Mango Melody. It has Flirty Flamingo and it has Polished Pink. So how do you like this? I love this coloring. Okay, so now what we're going to do is because this is dry and you don't really have to worry about it, I'm going to use Memento Black. And you guys who are in the 12 Cards of Christmas, you're going to see this once again, probably on the last one. Um, this technique. I'm going to do a diff. Uh, I'm going to do different coloring, but you're going to see this again probably. I haven't done the last card yet, so there we go. Okay, and then all I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp this right on 
that. Now you could use that as a background in itself if you want it. You didn't have to do anything, just use it as a background. Mary is wonderful. Mary is wonderful. Mary is wonderful. And there we go. And then I am just going to get all of this stuff out of the way so I don't spill anything. Okay. And then let me get this out of the way. I'm going to bring in. Now I have done most of my other cuttings and I used, this is Melon Mambo and I used the ornate layers. And then I did this through the painted texture embossing folder. But I wanted to do this at the end just so you could see how this goes. So I stamped that with the big flower from the Blessings of Home. Now I'm going to take the big die, this comes in a bundle. Actually, I think it comes in, a, okay. Just get it all right, Mary. Get that all set up here. Now I have some scraps of designer series or scraps of watercolor paper. that I think is going to be really cool because I'm going to use those scraps and experiment with different colors. And then I am just going to cut this out. See that? Let me put this away. Bring this back. Okay, now to finish this off, I have an eight and a half by five and a half piece of Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to make this my card base. Okay, then I took this is five and a quarter by four inches. And again, I told you I ran it through the painted texture embossing folder. So I am just going to take some of my seal and I'm just going to put that on there. Okay. Then, I need, let's see if this will work on this one. Thank you for inspiring me. I needed a couple of thank yous. The wind has been really blowing here. Everything has a grit on it today. So I am just going to use some memento on here. And again, you don't have to cut this out. You don't have to stamp on it. It can be its own background. I like that saying, thank you, you inspire me. Let me. You know, I will. Where's the big one? What did I do with the big one? It's laying around here just so I can touch it and get it all over me, isn't it? Oh, there it is. I was going to sit on it. Okay. 
And then what I'm going to do is, I've got my stamp of dimensional, ha ha ha. See, I already got the stamp of dimensionals. I didn't even have to look for it. And I am just going to place that there with Stampin' Dimensionals on here. And just place it right like that. And there you go. A quick, fun card to make. I really enjoy this um, technique and I will be using that a lot. So you're going to see a lot of that with me. So what do you think? What did you think about this one? I'm going to bring you back over. Did you enjoy this card? Are you going to try this technique out? And I tell you, it's probably a pretty great technique. So um, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. It's fun to do. It's messy. You get it all over. But hey, it's water based. So that's about it. Okay. Any questions? Remember, if you need anything, um, I'm an independent demonstrator. Um, in the description of this video has um, where you can uh, shop with me uh, or just shop at marytrotner.stampinup.net. I think you could use Versamark. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be bad or you can use Stazon. It's Versamark if you want to um, do some of the uh, um, embossing on it would be fine. I don't think there is a problem with that at all. In fact, it'd probably be, as long as it's dry, you could probably use any color to stamp on it. Um, it has to be dry or else it will bleed, um, but that it should be fine. And Versamark and embossing would be pretty nice on that too, I bet. Okay, anything else? All right, folks, thanks for visiting. Happy stamping. See you next Sunday. Bye-bye.